all avenues of relief. So from our perspective, it's time for him to be all in or all out. Okay? So we're hoping he's back soon. We got 89 guys busting their tails. We are really excited about where this franchise is going, and we hope AB is going to be a big part of it starting week one against Denver. End of story. Whew. All right, Shannon, are you surprised that Mayock came out this strong calling out AB? Hell no, nah, he should have come out stronger. Huh. Skip, this is supposed to be the honeymoon. Yeah. Skip, you look, you plan a wedding. Now, they traded a third and a fifth to get AB, a big time, big play potential, has Hall of Fame written all over him. True. So you get and you give him three years, 50 million, 30 million fully guaranteed. This the honeymoon. Then if I have a great wedding, I have a, 150 people at my wedding, mm. an eight-tier cake, and everybody is all happy, and I get to the honeymoon, and all we do is argue for two weeks, there's a good chance, Skip Bayless, we probably not gonna make it to that old silver that 25-year anniversary oh, no. mark. Even there's a good eight. chance that the Oakland Raiders and Antonio Brown skip. It's not going to make it these three years. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that's going to be the case. Yep. Skip, it's simple as this. The NFL Institute a couple of years ago that they were going to test helmets because they wanted the safest helmets as yep. possible mm -hmm. because the one thing the NFL loves more than the, the uh, thing that they love is yep. money. The thing that they hate worse than money is losing money. Mm -hmm. They don't want another five, six, seven billion dollar settlement to come down the pipeline, Skip. Mm -hmm. So they said, we're going to test these helmets. Now, they let certain guys be grandfathered. All the other guys got new helmets. Okay. Guys like Tom Brady, grandfather. But guess what Tom Brady's playing with this year in 2019, Skip? Mm. A new helmet. Yep. Aaron Rodgers, grandfather. Guess what he's playing with in 2019, Skip? A new helmet. And by the way, they don't like it either. Made it, Tom Brady's like, well, hold on. I've been to five, I played in five Super Bowls in this helmet. I kind of like this thing. <laughs> but, dum dum, A.B., Oh, all about him. It is. Skip, because you know what's going to happen? Let's just say for the sake of argument. They say, A.B., you can play with that helmet. Mm -hmm. A.B. gets injured on the football field. Now, tell me what you think is going to happen, Skip. He's going to try to sue the brakes off the NFL. That's... Yep. So they're trying to protect him from himself, but he's making it all about himself. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the reason why Skip Bayless... Mm -hmm. The CBA, the players are going to lose again yep. because you got too many guys like A.B. that only will be willing to think about themselves and not the greater good. Mm -hmm. Because the greater good is for the NFL to put the safest equipment on the field mm -hmm. because you're trying to make the game as safe as you possibly can, Skip, but you're trying to make a game that's inherently dangerous to begin with, yep. safe. Mm -hmm. Big men running the bigger men at a high rate of speed. And A.B., Skip, what, 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 what else can they do? And Mike Mayock was correct. Mm -hmm. We've supported him. Yep. All the way through this process. Okay, he's exhausted. These are the helmets that you can play in. You cannot play in the shot with 2011, 14, 10. It doesn't matter. That helmet will not be certified. Move it along. Mm. And then he had the nerve. Skip, did you see what he tweeted? NFL, what NFL stood I for? I saw it. Skip, you stand here and there are a lot of times that African-American guys are coming here, black guys are coming here, stacked. And we joke about things that you and I know we never would say on air. That's a barbershop conversation. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to the barbershop and say it stands for in, for life, have at it. You with your boys. But you put that publicly. Do you, th do you understand what these owners and general managers are looking at you like? Yep. You got to be the dumbest. You know what mm -hmm. in all the NFL. <laughs> do you know what other blacks are saying? Dude, you making $30 million over the next two years. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And you're going to talk about, I just, but I told you this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. See, Skip, everybody jumped on me. So, and I told you in 26, early 2016, when he went Facebook Live, yeah. what no. I tell him you should do, Skip? You, you said cut bait. You knew right away. Because yeah. I know. Yeah, I remember if that. he's acting like this, Skip, mm -hmm. with very little money, and at the time, for what he was producing, he was making little money. I said, you watch. You give him money, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. Money does not change people. Money makes you more mm -hmm. of what you already are. <sighs> you see what he was when he was in Pittsburgh and he was making six million. Now they gave him 16, 17, mm -hmm. 18 million. And he's a bigger jerk than what he was in Pittsburgh. And it's only gonna get worse. You know why, Skip? What y'all gonna do? I got $30 million guaranteed. You can't cut me because that'll be so much dead money on your books. But I hope. The Raiders are like, you know what? We were a sucker. 
Maybe there's another one down the line that'll trade for him. Mm. But this dude... Mm. Never ending. Mm. Skip? As you know, I used to love John Gruden. I know him pretty well. Yes. I covered his team sure. before he went to Tampa when I was in San Francisco covering mm -hmm. the Raiders. Yes. I'm liking him less and less after two episodes of Hard Knocks because you? I'm not liking the guy I'm seeing in Hard Knocks. Because he's letting this stuff fly. No, just because he's gone over the edge. He, he used to have a good combination of good cop, bad cop in mm -hmm. him. Yeah. He's got a nice way with players. He can kind of, his repartee with yeah. players can be good when he's just kidding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's less than, maybe they're only showing the negative, but he is getting increasingly negative. <laughs> because he won a Super Bowl and he knows he's under extreme heat from the Shannon Sharps of this world. Yeah. To put Produce. up. Yeah, put up now because mm -hmm. you're making $10 million. No, wait. $100 million for 10, 10 years. years. Yeah, $10 million. So he got 90 more to come. Okay. He's doing good. Unfortunately for John Gruden, everything you said is painfully true because I said the day this deal went down that the Raiders just took a desperate plunge that will ultimately backfire. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's exactly the player John Gruden needs right now and exactly the player he can't coach. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Mike Mayock spoke for John Gruden yesterday. Mm -hmm. He didn't speak for Mike Mayock. Right. He's been on NFL Network, right. being a draft analyst. Right. That was John Gruden's from his <laughs> lips to your ears, right? Yes. He was, I'm not saying he's a puppet, but again, John runs that organization. Absolutely. Because that's the deal he signed. Yes. I want total control of the draft of any general manager. Final 53, decision, whatever. Whatever it is, it's my call. Buck stops here. It, it, so that was what you were hearing is put up or shut up. Antonio, are you with us or against us? I'm surprised John hadn't... Look, John has been very supportive. He's like, look, the guy wants a helmet that he feels comfortable in, and we support him. Okay, we've let... Skip, I'm just trying to figure out, okay, the guy goes to walkthrough on Saturday, mm -hmm. and it looks like everything's a go, and he doesn't show up for Sunday? Mm -hmm. Skip, I, I play, sign. Skip, I, I played 14 years. Yep. I've never you had... Just... So I didn't miss. Skip, I, no, but I never saw a guy. Yeah, I know. Not miss. I've seen guys late to practice, late to meetings, but just, the, just like, no, nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Skip, you remember what happened with when the, um, John Drew was in Tampa and he and Keyshawn fell out? He like, Keyshawn, go home. What I'm doing with this? I looked up the quotes this morning I'm just so I that. could refer to him because Keyshawn said later that I didn't like the way I was being coached. Huh. I didn't like the way I was being talked to. Yes! Because when John Gruden goes over the edge, yeah. it gets profane yes. and it gets nasty negative. Right. He can just obliterate you. And, and again, he, he's got no edit button in him. He had it on Monday Night Football, right. but in this, whoo, you, you can see some of his blasts. He just relentlessly critical, mm -hmm. especially of his quarterbacks. But right. if, if this guy pushes him too far, he will go over the edge right. just the way I believe this young man has gone over the social media edge sure. into me-ism. Yes. It's all about him. It's all about starring, not winning. It's about A-B, not about the clicks Oakland Raiders. Likes. Yep, it's all about clicks and likes. So he's got to show up by plummeting to earth in a hot, hot air, air balloon, balloon right? Oh. Yeah. Dawn. And then what did I tell you about the first hard knocks? What caught my eye at the first team meeting they showed right out of the box? He's John Gruden's up there yeah. saying, let's all hug each other. And who's the teacher's pet sitting in the front row? Derek Carr. Right. And I still think John Gruden hadn't bought into Derek Carr. <laughs> That's so you yeah. could see in the very back of the room, standing in the doorway with a couple of undrafted free agents was number 84. Right. Why? Because he's sending the message of, I'm, I'm bigger than all this. I, I don't sit right. down for team meetings. I don't do team meetings. I'm, I'm me. I'm, I'm AB. You were sitting right. down for team meetings. Yeah. There's no way you were because standing Skip, in the look, back of the room. Skip, guys are looking at me. Yeah, you're I'm the one, leader. I'm one of the point. leaders. You're the leader. Come you're on. Say, and, and, when, and when coach is talking, I'm not talking. I'm mm. early. Mm. Because the first thing, because the message that I wanted to send, even though I thought rookies would be on their best behavior, what happens when he's no longer a rookie and he becomes the type player that Shannon Sharp is yep. if he sees Shannon Sharp bull jiving? Yep. Then he feels yep. that's going to be acceptable. I got and that's going to be a reoccurring theme. So, Shannon Sharp had a responsibility to his teammates to show up healthy, as healthy as he could be for day one of training yes. camp. A.B. shows up. 
having undergone a cryotherapy treatment without the proper footwear. How can you do that? Yeah. It's just not smart. No. You have to wear the proper protection. Yeah, on you your wear feet. socks and you wear Ugg boots. Yes, you do. You don't go in there barefooted. Okay, that's just showing blatant, you know, irresponsibility right. towards your teammate. You, you come in, you got blisters all, you got frostbite on your feet. And I said, Skip, I said, Skip, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. I said, I've, I've never seen anything like this, and I've seen some blisters. I mean, something, you know, go, guys wearing seven studs, which is the metal, as opposed to the rubber bottom, Skip. Yeah. And you're not used to practicing those, and you're on your feet three, four, five hours yeah. a day. So you develop blisters. Yeah. I said, Skip, I've never, in 14 years of playing NFL football yeah. in college, I've never seen yeah. blisters like that. Okay. So I knew it was more there than just... There you go. And how many spider Y2 bananas have AB been able to run with Derek Carr on the football field? Zero. Zero. So we're getting closer. Now we're getting to the dress rehearsal third preseason yeah. game. And 84 has no real rapport with Derek Carr. But you know what's going to happen, Skip Bayless? He'll come out there. And he'll have a spectacular. And you see, that's why they got him. Mm. And it's going to be short-lived. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be short-lived. Because that guy right there... That's the guy that's never going to be happy. It's always going to be something. See, right now it's the helmet. Mm. But he'll find another yeah, reason. There'll be something new. It's yeah. like a little kid almost. Yeah. Like he's testing, like, oh, how much can I get away with? Should I try something new? Yeah. But at some point they have to ask him, he's got to stop. It's affecting the morale. Skip, you remember, uh, uh, I think someone, we, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago when we were on, about Aaron Rodgers, as soon as his play start to slip, uh -huh. they're going to move on. You watch. Yep. You are right. Uh, soon. I know, but they owe him $30 million. It's a lot that, of money. That, you can't skip. The, uh, first, they, they owe him that. Can you imagine what that would accelerate to on that cap? But yeah, they don't want that, Skip. Nope. I mean, <sighs> that kind of dead money and the guy's not playing for mm -hmm. you. But maybe eventually they'll move on. They'll find a sucker just like they were. Yeah. And he'll find something well, new. He's, he's all in on AB. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Guys, unfortunately, Boogie Cousins. Uh, he has gone down again. I hate to say that. Could Dwight Howard be a good fit alongside LeBron? That is coming up next.